हेलो एवरी वन साइंस वन स्टैंडर्ड नाइन लेसन नंबर वन लॉज ऑफ मोशन दिस इज एलेवेंथ वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन एंड दिस वीडियो विल सी वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ फॉर यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन सो वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ फॉर यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन हियर इज द ग्राफ एंड द टेबल एक्स एक्सिस इंडिकेट्स टाइम इन वे सेकेंड y axis indicate velocity in meter per second children see the table carefully time in second 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 30, 30. velocity in meter per second 0 8 16 24 32 40 48 40, 40, 40, and 56 if you see the table carefully the velocity changes by equal amounts in equal time interval it means after every 5 second velocity changes by 8 meter per second children see the difference 0 8 16 8 2 16 8 3 24 24 24 so if if after every 5 second velocity changes by 8 meter per second the velocity sorry for all uniform students see the graph carefully this is this graph for uniform acceleration for all uniformly accelerated motion the time velocity graph is a straight line you can see in a picture the graph is a straight line for uniform acceleration so let's draw the graph children let's draw the graph see first 5 second the velocity is 8 see children see the table and the graph simultaneously see for 5 second velocity is 8 see here 5 second the velocity is 8 let's draw the point see in 10 second velocity is 16 see the table and the graph in 15 second velocity is 24 in 20 second velocity is 32 in 25 second velocity is 40 in 30 second velocity is 48 in 35 second velocity is 56 let's join the points so the graph is a straight line for all uniformly accelerated motion but for non uniformly accelerated motion the velocity time graph may have any shape depending on depending on how the acceleration changes with time okay now from graph see children see the graph from graph we can determine the distance covered by the car between 10th and 22nd so we have to as we have find out Uh, as we as we did in case of train in previous example that is in previous uh, video we already solve such a type of a example okay so the same manner we have to find out the distance covered by the car between 10th and 22nd children see here the distance covered between these two point 10th and 20 this distance this distance we have to determine so let's determine let's find out the distance between 10th and 22nd okay children see the in previous example the velocity is constant in previous example means in previous video in uh, time velocity graph for, for 
uniform velocity in that situation the velocity is constant but in this example children the velocity of a car is not constant but it's continuously changing because of uniform acceleration acceleration means change in velocity so uniform acceleration so uniform acceleration means uh, velocity changes by equal amount in equal time interval so in this example velocity is not constant but it's continuously changing because of uniform acceleration in such a case we have to use average velocity of a car in given time interval to determine the distance covered in that interval understand so here we have to find out the the average velocity see ten, in 10 second velocity is 16 and in 20 second the velocity is 32 so we have to find out the average velocity here okay so we have to find out the average velocity let's find out the average velocity is equal to 16 plus 32 because we have to find out the distance between these two points okay so 32 plus 16 divided by 2 is equal to 24 meter per second the velocity is 24 meter per second now find out the distance traveled by the car between these two point means this distance we have to find out okay we know the velocity and we know the time time is 10 see 10 to 20 how much 10 to 20 means 10 second okay this 10 to 20 means 10 second so we know the time we know the velocity so we know the time we know the velocity so easily we can find out the displacement displacement by displacement means distance travel from this point to this point okay so put the values velocity 24 meter per second is equal to displacement upon time is 10 second now we will shift this because we have to find out this so division when go on that side so we have to multiply then it turn in it turn into multiplication okay let's calculate displacement means distance travel by the car is equal to is equal to 24 meter per second multiply by 10 second when we calculate this the answer is 240 meter see children I showed you the multiplication see children 24 meter per second means division multiply by 10 second so second second cancel multiply this to 40 meter okay so distance travel by the car between these two points between these two points is 240 meter now similarly we will find out the area we will find out the area this area we will find out the area okay similarly the distance given by the the same distance the same distance is given by the area of a quadrangle a b c d a b c d the d if we find out the area of this quadrangle a b c d we'll get the 
same value okay and in the next video we'll we, we will find out the area of a quadra quadrangle a b c d we'll stop here thank you